Welcome, this is Jonathan. I just wanted to go through and do a quick tutorial on how to clean up your EFI Fiery. This is not sponsored by EFI or recommended by them, but something that I've personally found to be helpful. Here I have a Windows 7 based um, Windows 7 Fiery device. And on here I have created a uh, folder called Cleanup. Inside of this folder you will find a disk cleanup notepad instruction guide on how to do this. The reason that it's super important to read this is because some files won't delete, which is okay, and some files you don't want to delete, which is not okay if you delete those. So just make sure that you thoroughly read this, uh, and um, if you find it helpful, great. If not, um, don't worry about it. In the bottom right-hand corner, there's a Java updates, and on folder Fiery Devices, you will find that this is kind of annoying if you don't want to update your Java. So uh, right here is a reg edit that you can do. Please understand that once you get into re in the registry of your Fiery device, you can ruin, ruin this if you um, change a zero to a one or a one to a zero in an improper location. Hopefully these instructions will uh, allow you to be able to do that to turn that Java update off so it's not constantly annoying you. So inside of the cleanup folder that I've created, it's super simple to do this. If you know anything about computers, if you right click in the, on your desktop and create new folder, right below that is a shortcuts folder. So any sort of thing that you can uh, map to, um, such as if you go down here and hit the run key, you can open this folder this way, or you can create a shortcut. So it's just one simple step by clicking this and it opens up that folder as simple as that. Now you wanna delete all the files out of here. It's a temporary folder. You certainly don't want to make a backup with all of these files in there and um, it's just a nice way to clean up your fiery device um, and uh, create a smaller amount of stuff on your disk so if you do do a backup you won't be um, duplicating all those temporary folders inside of step two is do not delete the cbs folder i've named it that so i have to remind myself not to delete that you can delete a bunch of files if you'll notice there's not a lot of files in here if you have a Fiery device that's been running for a while, you'll notice that there is a lot of files out of here. In some cases, you can delete up to two, three, five gigs of data out of here. Um, in here, some of the files may not delete, but just again, another bunch of temporary folders that the wonderful Windows OS decides to put inside and never delete. So there you go. Um, admin, app data, local. So I do that, and then I go down here to step four, and I do a basic disk cleanup. You press OK, and then you go through the instructions, and um, you know, clean up your disk. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, you definitely want to do this before you create a backup, like I mentioned before. But uh, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer them in a timely manner. Thanks for watching my tutorial.